a fire in the Portland neighborhood overnight, causing some traffic headaches for drivers. Our Madison Elliott is live on the scene with the latest. Hey, Madison. Hey, Alex, good morning. Yes, so a little bit of a different scene than when we were last checking in with everybody a little after, a little bit before 7 a.m. this morning, and crews are still here. We're not seeing the smoke we were seeing earlier this morning, but we are still seeing there are at least two engines still here. Now they have the fire hose going. You can see the firefighter up on the ladder there, and they are spraying this building down. So this building was vacant. Nobody was inside, so that's some good news there. Nobody was injured, but if we go to video from earlier this morning, you can just see how big these flames were and then these quickly rose and then expanded over some of the lanes of 64. So it was quite the scene here this morning and there was a lot of smoke, which was also impacting some visibility for drivers because of the smoke in the area. But again, nobody luckily was hurt because this is a vacant building. The PIO says it doesn't know what this building was being used for, but nobody was inside, nobody's living there. So right now they're just working on kind of containing any more flames that could pop up, but it does look like it's pretty much knocked down at this point, though it also looks like it may have collapsed. Now this is the second time this building has actually had a fire around Derby time last year. The PIO says there was also a fire here at this building. So right now they're working to just continue to contain this fire here. Nobody injured. And we do know, though, that some lanes are still closed on 64. So we're going to send it over now to Suzanne, and she has the latest on all those closures for you. Okay, thank you so much, Madison. And Madison, of course, was telling us from earlier this morning that those flames were so close to 64 westbound. So here's the deal. 64 westbound is still shut down because part of the issue, because the flames were so close to the interstate, that the Department of Transportation has to do an inspection. So you can see what's going on here. This is a live look at 64 westbound where you can see all of the emergency crews. Now, the eastbound lanes are still open, but at 9th Street, you're going to be diverted to take some side streets, and you can get back onto the interstate at 22nd Street. The bottom line is, obviously, this is going to take a little while for this, them to clear this scene and make sure that it's safe for drivers. Eastbound traffic, you can see, moving just fine so far this morning, but the westbound lanes are still shut down. No word on when those are going to open back up, but, of course, we'll continue to follow this breaking news situation.